The sustained rhythm of movement in a long climb has also its part in inducing the sense of physical well-being. And this cannot be captured by any mechanical mode of ascent. Running's my favourite way to travel. You've just got this ability to explore the area, whether you're in a city or in the middle of nowhere, and you can cover so much ground pretty quickly. But you get to see everything, and you're really sort of in the thick of it. It was through books that I learned about all the cool things that people go to do in the mountains, and it's books that I turn to to continue to give me that inspiration but also to kind of give me a bit of a break from it sometimes. Like something else that I love doing but that's much more peaceful and quiet and restorative. My name's Georgia. I'm a teacher and a mountain runner and I live in the Highlands of Scotland. My lifestyle's pretty busy. I run almost every day. I try and have one day off a week, but I have to kind of move between lots of different things that I do, mainly between teaching and running. But it's really fun as well, and it keeps me busy. There's always something going on. It can be hard to balance everything because it can get so busy, but I think it's all about finding different activities and different ways to spend your time to sort of fulfill different aspects of your personality. I was always fascinated by the mountains, but growing up in London didn't really have any around me. So often it was through the books about the mountains would capture my imagination. Both my parents are big readers, my dad owns a bookshop, and so from as long as I can remember, I've been reading books, we've been talking about books at dinner time, um, and it's just always been a part of my life to sort of escape into another world through books. They've always kind of guided my next move in terms of career. Like I went to university to study English literature. I then retrained as an English teacher and moved to the Highlands to teach English. I've got some really nice local loops from my house. It's just within a few hundred meters and you're out of the town and you're in the trees, you're in the hills. As soon as you get away from the buildings, like it's quiet, you see a lot of wildlife, and because I run these routes day in, day out throughout the year, I get to see them change from winter to spring to summer. You see the snow, you see the leaves fall, and it's so nice. This is the perfect training area for me because the facilities are there in terms of the mountains and the terrain, but also because it's somewhere that I'm really happy. And I don't think that someone can race and perform well if they're not happy. I got into teaching because I love books, but also I love a sense of community and being sociable and helping other people. You get a chance to inspire your students. And I like the fact that it ties into my other hobbies as, like, as well. So I like the fact that I can talk about the books that I've been reading and talk to students about the books that they've been reading. People need to see things to imagine themselves doing them as well. If you see your teacher or a parent or someone going after what they want and working hard, then I think they're more likely to do that as well. The different areas of my life complement each other because they balance each other out. The busyness of school can be counteracted by getting some time alone in the hills. Being tired from work and from running gets balanced out by spending time reading. And then the fact that that reading gives me inspiration to teach and to run and to go out into the world and be myself. Those who do not love them don't go up, and those who do can never have enough of it. It's an appetite that grows in feeding.